The next configuring task we're going to undertake is that of configuring views. This is an exam objective located in the first domain on managing Outlook, but you could be asked to do this, not just for mail, but for your contacts, your calendar, your tasks, things like that. The good news is the way in which you configure views is pretty much the same no matter where you're at in Outlook. So let's look at this. To get started, I'm going to click on the View tab on the ribbon. And the first option that we have here is to change the view. So I'm going to click the drop down arrow. We have the compact view. We have the single view, which I'll click for just a minute here. And the word that comes to mind here is yuck. Can't really see anything here. So let me try a preview here. Now this isn't bad. At least we can see the first line or two of each email. But let me get this back to the regular view, which is the compact view. That's a little bit better because we have the list of emails here. We have a reading pane on the right hand side, so we can click on a message here and we can see what the message is about. Now, if you are told to change a view, before you do anything, make sure you're changing the correct view. So make sure you double check. And if you're asked, for example, to do something with the compact view, make sure that you're in the compact view. Once you're there, you can click Manage Views, and then we can click whatever view we want, and then we can click Modify. Now, there's a number of different things that we can do here as far as how to change a view. Just to give you a couple of examples here, I'll click on Columns. It says here Maximum Number of Lines in Compact Mode, which would be the number of lines that you have in a message to show up. I'll bump that up to three for a minute here. If we want to change which columns we have in a view, we can. I'll just click OK for now. The group by is interesting because if I click on group by, it says automatically group according to arrangement. Well, maybe for just a minute or two, I would rather see things grouped by subject or by who it's from. I'll go with subject here just for an example. And then we'll click OK. We'll click OK again. And you'll notice that even before we close this Manage All Views, we now have groups for each subject. Now, this is not a view that's used too often, but it does come in handy when you are trying to look for a particular subject and you want to see what messages you have from that subject. Later, you're going to see that there might be a couple of better ways to get this job done. But as far as managing views, yes, those are some changes you can make. Now, the good news is, let's say you realize, you know what, I don't like my changes here. I want to put things back to where they were. So I'll click OK for just a minute. At any time, you can click Reset View. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to reset this to its original settings? Well, yes. So I'll click Yes, and back we are. So there are some different ways in which we can configure views. One other thing that you might want to do in real life or be asked to do on the test is to show your email as conversations. So instead of having, say, an email here and then a reply that's further up or Maybe this is a reply and the original email is further down and you have to scroll forever to see it. You can check the box that says Show as Conversations. For now, I'm just going to do it in this folder. And nothing really changes here because I don't have a whole lot of messages yet. However, once a lot of messages go back and forth and there's some replies and things like that, you'll start to see these conversations group, which is pretty nice when you're trying to keep track of a particular issue or a back and forth you're having with somebody. For now, I'm just going to uncheck Show as Conversations, again, for this folder. But it is an option that you have, and I would say it's a pretty good one to use most of the time. 